Good everyone, in this video I will be showing you how you can move and resize content on Google Sites. Now before starting, if you're not familiar with the whole interface of Google Sites, if you're a beginner or even if you're a first timer in using this software, do not worry because I got you covered as I will be here to guide you and show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do this thing. Now, before getting started with anything else, if you're interested in watching, we actually have a dedicated video that covers all the basic features and functions of this software, so you might want to check it out. Now, just to give us a bit of a background, Google Site is a free web-based tool that is used to create websites and is ideal for both professional and personal use. Now, just like what I've said, as you can see right here in my um, Google Site website, I have a uh, content block right here and a text box right over here. Now what we can do here is to uh, move this picture inside this text box. But before getting started with anything else, I will teach you how you can resize the contents starting with the picture. Now as you can see in my picture, I have here multiple dots on the edges and corners. And if I solely just focus on dragging the corner of it, as you can see it changes the ratio as well. Now, for it, in order for it to lock in the ratio and not resize as you, or not change its ratio as you resize it from the corner, all you have to do is hold shift on your keyboard. And as you can see, I can resize it freely without it's changing, uh, without it changing its ratio. Now, another thing that I want to talk to you about um, when it comes to adjusting the size of your uh, image or your content. As you can see right behind our image, we actually have these gray lines. Now, those gray lines are actually called tiles. Now, what tiles do is ensure that your picture is in the right place. So it will lock it. Uh, it will lock the picture to whatever is the nearest tile on it. Now, let's say, for example, I adjust it to this one. As you can see, it automatically snaps the picture to the closest tile possible like so. Like that. So you can freely adjust your image to whatever size you like it will automatically snap to one of these gray lines. Now, it's the same thing when it comes to adding or resizing your uh, text boxes. As you can see, you have these gray lines that ensure that your image and your text box has enough space between them. So it will snap to this place and this text box will snap to this gray line behind it. So it ensures that it has a place it ensures that it has enough space between the text and the content or the image so that it is not too clustered to look at. Now, let us focus on uh, moving our image. And one way that you can move it is by dragging it around. Like So as you can see, it will automatically snap it to these tiles, just like what we have mentioned earlier. I can move it at the very top header, like so. You can drag it around to whatever you want. Now. A key feature that I would like you to notice is combining the image to this text box right here. As you can see, I have a title right here and I have the normal text right over here. And as you can see, if I decide to drag this image inside the text box, now the divider between the title and the normal text will be a bold blue line. And what this indicates to me as a content creator on this website is that this image and this text box will now be locked together. So if I release my mouse, as you can see, they are now together. The content of the image is now inside this uh, text box. Now I can choose if I want to make it collapsible right here. As you can see, I can have the option to make it a drop down some sort of if I click on collapsible. Now if I want to get it out from here, I cannot because it's now permanently locked so I, all i have to do is press undo on my keyboard because if you release it from here it will automatically lock it up on place now one way that you can get it out is by undoing clicking on this button right here or you can press Control or command z on your keyboard like so and now as simple as that you can easily move and resize content on your google site now, if you did learn something in this video, please consider subscribing and dropping a like and hitting that notification bell. Also, leave a comment down below in which you would like to see from us next. And I'll take it from here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.